Hello everybody, my name is Luke, and welcome to Power and Glory 3. Really welcome to GTR 2. Um, but as you can tell, I have the Power and Glory mod installed, uh, which basically redoes it. Um, you know, I love all types of racing. It doesn't matter what, what era, what type of racing, you know, I, I, I want to learn about it and stuff. But there's one period and type of racing that fascinates me more than all the others do and that's 1960s and 1970s sports car racing probably because um th the thing that got me into racing was steve mcqueen's Le Mans from 1971 based off the 1970 running of the 24 hours of Le Mans. um and, and just you know so that to me is very important because that got me into racing um but really has got me to learn a lot about this period of racing and i've always wanted a game focused on that and luckily the guys that created power and glory gave us that i believe they took it from gt legends most of the cars from that and overhauled them to be accurate to what they would have been when they were actually racing in the 60s and 70s which is really cool uh so like treaded bias ply tires um the engines tuned up because now they just run on racing slicks and the engines detuned a little bit because they're older um but yeah it's just this is so cool so we're just going to be checking it out and i have the mini music and stuff turned off because I, I doubt it's copyrighted but if it is i don't want that and also i don't want to be talking over it i don't like talking over music i think it's just odd um so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into this um but honestly to me there's no car that's more iconic to me than two cars and those are the porsche 917k and of course the ford gt40 um i love the the mark one i think it looks really cool um gosh just look at it <laughs> The Mark 1 looks really cool, but then of course, Mark 2, um, famously driven by Ken Miles, who who definitely in my book won the 1966 24 Hours of Le Mans, but got robbed and then later on in the year, um, unfortunately got killed in a um, testing crash at I believe Willow Springs, is that what it's called? I don't remember. Um, also! I had a mod that I installed last night that's supposed to give me more cars, like the um, 1969 version of the Porsche 917. It's not working for some reason, and I'm pretty sure I installed it correctly. It could be user error. Um, but if anybody's watching this and knows why that could be, please leave it in the comments below, because I would love to get my hands on that car. Um, but yeah, first off, I've seen this car. The Holman and Moody number four GT40. Um, it is in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway basement. Um, I got to go on a tour of that. They do it every once in a while, and uh, yeah, seeing this car down there was really cool. Um, so short, of course, 40 inches tall. Uh, it's 40 inches from right there to the ground. That's where the 40 comes from in GT40. Um, but if you guys are watching this and have seen um, GP Laps, which is definitely, which is where I found out about this mod from, um, we're not going to be doing the Holman and Moody car. You guys have already seen that, so we are going to be in <laughs> Ken Miles' uh, uh, a car. We're going to go ahead and do a lap with that. Uh, a couple laps at Monza in that because Monza is my favorite track. I don't have period accurate tracks yet. I plan on getting some of those downloaded if I can figure that out. Um, this is my first time like properly installing a mod, not just going to the BeamNG Drive repository. Uh, so it was a little complicated at first, but nonetheless, I figured it out, which is actually really weird. It told me that the that the install had failed. Um, I was like, oh, that sucks. But this game was only four dollars when I got it, so it's like you know what, it doesn't matter. Um, but but then I go to get on the game, and I was like, I guess I'll just drive the game for what it is, and it just instant power and glory. I'm like, what? <laughs> you told me it failed, and then it told me that the um, install um, finished. I'm like, well, I can see that, but that was really it was really odd, really odd. Um, 
I really wish I could drive the 1966 version of Monza with the, the combined layout with the chicanes going into the turns at the oval. Um, that I saw GP Laps doing his 1966 uh, version of the um, 1,000 kilometers of Monza or whatever it is properly called. Um, I wish I could do that, but like I said, I don't have any period accurate tracks. I just have whatever came with it. Um, so that's what we're going to be using uh, for right now. And no no AI, it's just going to be a private practice. I just, you know, I don't want to focus on driving around other people. I just want to drive, um, just drive this car and observe it in all of its beauty. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. But I don't know why, okay, I don't know what, I don't know where <laughs> the rest of my screen went. It's cut off down here. I'll have to figure out what that is. Um, but I can actually turn the volume on now. Like I said, I don't like talking over music, so. Yep, I got my volume up now. Okay, you can see the gear. And force feedback is working properly now. This is my second time recording this, and force feedback was not working properly for me earlier. Um, but nonetheless, here we are. I don't know what that flash is. Approaching the first turns here at Monza. Whoa, this car. Old tires, or cold tires. Uh, and, and 70s car, 70, well, 60s car, 60s tires, 60s brakes. Cold, slidey. Whoa, unstable. But man, this car is a beast. I absolutely love it. It's, it's cool to drive it, period accurate, livery as well. It's something that I don't like with like a lot of these sims. If they get these cars, they might not have the actual liveries, which I want the liveries. Like I said, I want it to be just right. So my goal is to get a lot of period accurate cars and tracks like skins and stuff and even some extra cars like the Ferrari prototypes like GP Laps has and do my own 66 season. I probably won't record any of that. That's just for me. I, I Like I said, I love this period and I just want to know what it was a little bit of what it would have been like to be in this racing back then. Um, just, we're going to break nice and early into Ascari. Get our nice heel and toe going. Turn our lights on. We can flash them. Um, Whoa. No, don't hit the wall. We hit the wall. <laughs> oh well. Let me restart the car. <laughs> this shows you how hard these are to drive. I don't think we got any damage from that. And everything is cold right now. Um, there's a really good mod done for... Ooh, we need to break for the Parabolica. Um, you, there's a really cool mod done for the uh, for R Factor 2, based off the 67 season, I believe it was. And uh, unfortunately, though, they're all off-brand. So like Porsche's Porch. I don't remember what the four GTs are called. But here we go down the front straight straight away at Monza. And then break. Nice and early. Use a lot of engine braking in these cars. Oh yeah, this car is a lot of fun. And I got my H pattern shifter working with this, so if you're interested in checking out Power and Glory, I did get my. Ooh, it's really unstable right there. I did get my H pattern working, my steering wheel works, force feedback works. Um, I actually have more success with the force feedback going in, starting a race session, backing out, going to the main menu, and then loading that race session again. I have more. Um, my, my, the force feedback works better for me that way. Into the Lesmo. I believe that's what this is called. Uh, 
Monza has got to be one of my favorite tracks. Um, it's definitely my favorite track on a set of course of Competizione, which I need to do a video on because it's, it's just so good. Um, the the oh we're gonna spin again <laughs> this car man it's so hard to drive it just gives you uh you know gives me a lot of respect and th once again this is a mod with some janky force feedback going um so it, th that could be i'm gonna i'm gonna blame it on that i'm also gonna blame that it's very early on in the morning and i'm not really awake yet um on my poor driving but gosh, it's, this is fun. This like mod hits everything right for me. Um, not sure first gear is what I want to be in in, para, in the Parabolica, but we're gonna do that regardless. And floor it down the front straight away. Oh, look at this. It's just so cool, man. just so cool break using that engine braking to our advantage go down the first gear which is not something you'd normally do in a uh, in a car from nowadays like the formula one cars second gear is the lowest that you should go in those uh, we're gonna just stick to the outside here what is this called Curve Grande or something like I don't remember what this one's called. I don't know the names of the corners. I just love this track. Um, use engine braking to our advantage. That curve unsettled the car a little bit. Um, oh yeah, it's just fun. That's a lot of fun. I know I keep saying that, but like, just that this mod exists and focuses on the cars that it does is so cool for me. And it's one of those things, if I can't get the mods working properly for like the tracks and stuff, I'll probably just do single car laps at like Monza or Spa because it's still a lot of fun. But that, the, that they redid the cars to the accurate period with the tires and the engine um, is really cool and the liveries oh we get off in the gravel there it's very easy to do um, at the exit of Ascari um, oh, it's just so cool man ooh shifted down the first a little too early So this is my first lap in the GT40, by the way. I should mention that. I got it working last night, and I was like, "Yeah, I just, I just kind of looked at the cars and stuff, and went and got all my controls set up." Oh, the backfire! This, mo I should mention, this mod sounds phenomenal. I'm gonna shut up for the rest of this lab. Just listen.
Oh, it's just so good. You see him get in the car a little bit sideways there. I'll probably do one more lap here. Yes, sir. This car is just so much fun, man. This mod, in this mod, like I said, it's everything. It's everything I wanted that I didn't even know existed. Um, I love that I got my H pattern working with it too, because obviously all the cars in this period would have had H pattern shifters. Um, Which I think is something, it's a shame that not a lot of cars have those anymore. My goodness, got really loose shifting in the second there. I don't know what happened. Maybe the, maybe just getting back, uh, changing gears upset the car a little bit. Get out of the grass, that's not good. Oh yes. Locked up a little bit, and that caused us <coughs> caused us to spin. And since I butchered driving this car enough, I think that's gonna call it for us. Let's uh, let's go back to the garage and maybe look at the replay here. Um, what is that? Whoa! <laughs> Um, how do I fast forward question mark? I don't know how to fast forward on the replay, but yeah. Um Yeah, that is such a cool car, such a cool such a cool mod. Uh if you guys are interested, do check it out. I think the game's back to like eight dollars now. Um so if, if you do want to check it out though, I recommend checking out Power and Glory. And like I said, if anybody's watching this um, I would really like to know why I can't get those mods to work, uh, that mod to work. Um, I guess I can back out and let me try to find it real quick so I can I, I can show you guys. It's called Le Mans Classics. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys because I don't know what it's going to what it's going to go to. So yeah, um, I just the mod is called Le Mans Classics, and I have trading paints open up here because it's the easiest for me to just open and close um, um but my recording he didn't want me recording my desktop so that's why that's why it went away um that's why the recording stopped abruptly but yeah power and glory it's a great mod you guys should check it out on um, you guys should check out gtr2 as well i think they're pretty well um so yeah that's it and uh that's enough of trading paints for today i guess <laughs>